And if the symptoms develop, you need medical attention or you're going to die. It's been more than half a year since the coronavirus outbreak and it has forever changed the world. The question of whether it changed it for better or for worse will depend on how the human race will cope. For now, we're sure that recent events might have triggered a sudden interest regarding deadly viruses. So today, we'll take a look at 10 of the scariest viruses in the world. Go ahead and give us a like, share, and subscribe. And now, let's begin. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Number 10, Lassa fever virus. This virus gets its name from the town of Lhasa, Nigeria, where it was first identified in 1969. Symptoms range from mild fever to complete organ failure. This deadly virus has a mortality rate of 15 to 50 percent, with the majority of the deaths caused by vascular collapse. The virus originates from the feces of small rodents, from the family Mystomycin, which then spreads and contaminates bodies of water. These species of rodents are commonly found in southern Africa. Unfortunately, there are currently no available vaccines to treat the virus and, as such, controlling rodent populations has been the prevalent preventative measure. Also, there have been substantial findings that, when administered early enough, the drug, ribavarin, as well as hyperimmune serums derived from the blood of survivors, helps those infected. Scientifically, we're very close. The molecule we have is ready to go immediately. The next step is to put it on the surface of a vaccine and prove that it generates the responses we think it will. Number 9. MERS The Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS for short, was first discovered in Saudi Arabia in the year 2012. The original carriers of the virus were the local camels. Well, it came to human species jumping is a difficult thing, but when it happens, it means that the, the virus adapts comfortably across species lines. Compared to the reach of the coronavirus, the MERS was less widespread. However, it has a far higher mortality rate. 37% versus the coronavirus's 2-3%. Since it shares a common strain with COVID-19, you can expect some similarities when it comes to the early symptoms that manifest in the patients. This includes fever, coughing fits, and shortness of breath. MERS is also highly transmissible between human-to-human -human interactions. One last notable similarity between the two viruses is the lack of an official vaccine. Fortunately, labs all over the world are continuously working on it. Number 8. Hantaviruses. If you've been following the news since the outbreak of the coronavirus, you've likely seen a little stir regarding this disease rearing its head amongst the chaos. Hantaviruses have been around since 1993 and came from the sin nombre hantavirus strain. The people infected with the virus will experience symptoms like severe breathing problems all the way to respiratory failure. And eventually, with hantavirus infection, it, it develops into a life-threatening pneumonia. It was first discovered in New Mexico and Arizona, with the deer mice's urine and feces being its primary carriers. We're in luck though, because even if the disease does have no vaccine and a mortality rate of 38%, human-to-human -human transmission is not yet possible and the likelihood of survival can be greatly improved if the disease is spotted early on. Number 7. Ebola You've definitely heard of this one since its outbreak in 2014, where it claimed the lives of 11,308 people and infected 28,610 in West Africa. Now, the Democratic Republic of the Congo is bearing the brunt of the second largest Ebola epidemic ever recorded, having an infected population of 3,432 and 2,249 deaths from its start in August of 2018 to the start of 2020, according to the World Health Organization. Little is known about the disease as its infection is not airborne and currently cannot be traced to one single source, but we are aware that human-to-human -human transmission is possible through contact with bodily fluids like saliva and urine from infected people. Like most of the deadly viruses on this list, there's currently no official vaccine for Ebola, but several drug and blood therapies are under development and experimental cures have been shown to at least help control its spread. Do you guys ever worry about uh, Ebola? Do you think that's real? No. Number 6. HIV AIDS The poster child for STDs, this virus has been around since its discovery in 1959 and possibly even earlier since the disease can span a multitude of symptoms and complications. 
making it hard to identify without the proper medical equipment. We don't need to tell you that this virus is as prolific and infectious as it gets, but to put it into perspective, as of 2018, there have been a recorded 37.9 million people living with either HIV or AIDS with 770,000 people dying from it the same year. Most of its infectivity is due to the fact that most people don't even know they have the virus in the first place, as primary symptoms can lay dormant in the body for years while the virus itself is still very much active and takes the form of AIDS once it starts, ravaging one's immune system and often leading to death. The scale of this disease is simply insane, but that isn't to say that there have been no steps to stop this devastating virus, as testing for the disease is now widely available and easily accessible to most, if not all, the countries in the world. There have also been strides in the antiretroviral therapy used to cure the disease. Back in the, those days, it was a death sentence. So you were told you were HIV positive and you are going to die. And this has saved more than a million lives from 2000 to 2008. Number 5. Japanese Encephalitis Virus This virus was first discovered in, you guessed it, Japan, and is currently the foremost case of encephalitis or inflammation in the brain all throughout Asia, with an estimated 68,000 cases according to the World Health Organization. It's also recorded that 24 countries in the Southeast Asian and Western Pacific regions have the encephalitis strain endemic within them, placing over 3 billion people at risk of infection. The disease was discovered to have crossed over from mosquitoes of the Kulex species that are commonly found in Asia's rice fields, where they infect pigs and birds as well. It currently has a mortality rate of 30%, but at least half its survivors experience serious brain damage from the inflammation they suffered. And that obviously involves not just inflammation of the brain, but it involves the spinal cord as well. Good news is simple mosquito protection and a vaccine shot can stop the virus from spreading to you, but once you have it, treatment is difficult to impossible. Number 4. Marburg Virus You'll probably be able to know just how dangerous this virus is if we tell you that it comes from the same family as the infamous Ebola virus. This virus was found back in 1967 in its namesake, Marburg, Germany, and has since been a growing concern for the country. It's believed that the virus had either been a result of the green monkey virus that came from Uganda, or that it came from bats. Yes, another bat-based virus theory was just what we needed for 2020. You wouldn't want to be a victim of this virus since it has a whopping 90% mortality rate, and it definitely won't let you go easy, as it causes extremely painful internal bleeding all throughout the body and multiple organ failures. There is currently no cure or therapy currently available for this gruesome virus. Number 3. Dengue Another virus sprouting from Southeast Asia, dengue was first found in the Philippines in the 1950s and has easily spread through the tropical and subtropical regions of the globe, where it can thrive, and as a result, 40% of the entire world now lives in dengue-prone areas. People infected experience something called the dengue fever, as it shares the same initial symptoms as a common fever, with fatigue, dizziness, coughing, and vomiting. The problem with dengue when it uh, infects patients is that you get undifferentiated fevers that can be diagnosed as pretty much anything. In it differs though in that if left untreated, it can cause severe internal bleeding like the kind Ebola has, but with a mortality rate of 20%. As of 2019 though, the US Food and Drug Association has approved of a vaccine for dengue available for children 9 to 16 years old that are living in places where dengue is common, with a different version of the vaccine for previously infected adults available in countries where it is most most prevalent. Number 2. Influenza Influenza, or the common flu, is possibly the most widespread virus in the entire world, dwarfing even the current pandemic's infection numbers. With 3 to 5 million cases of serious illness and 290,000 to 650 deaths each year, from a recent WHO estimate. It once infected up to 40% of the world's population when it was first recorded, but was still known as the Spanish flu and was rumored to have killed almost 50 million people worldwide at the time. There are flu shots widely available all over the world and treatments for when you actually contract it that should prevent such a tragedy from happening again. But for some reason, it isn't regarded as highly as COVID-19 despite it killing and infecting more yearly than any virus since it was found in 1918. Many scientists also agree that if it were treated the same way as other pandemics, fewer people would die from it since its danger comes from our complacency towards it. In the end, the only actual cure is time. Number 1. Rabies 
Though this virus is more or less eradicated with mandatory rabies shots for pets and a vaccine for early onset symptoms, it remains a prevalent issue in places like India and Africa where medicine is less available to all the citizens. We probably all know this by now, but you get infected by rabies when you get bitten by a rabid animal or simply an animal that carries the virus. That doesn't really narrow it down though, as any warm-blooded animal can carry the disease, with cats, dogs, and cattle being the most prevalent offenders of infecting humans, as they are kept as either domestic pets or livestock. The true fearsomeness of the virus, however, comes from an unmatched 100% death rate in cases left untreated or if treated incorrectly. Humans with rabies can be split into two categories, the furious or highly excitable rabies patients, or the paralytic ones where they're gradually paralyzed over the course of the infection developing within their bodies. As you're dying, you are intermittently fully coherent and you can fully express how scared you are, how awful it is, and how you know you're gonna die. Both are just as fatal with the former being a death caused by a heart attack and the latter from a coma. Just to reiterate though, cures for rabies are very much available in most of the world, save for India and Africa. So there's not much to fear, but we would definitely think twice before teasing that stray dog on the streets. And that brings us to our close. Leave your comments down below, and be sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple.